A similar scenario with that which I had I shared on Euro USD appears to be happening here on the GBP USD. And if we notice what has been happening since the beginning of the week, price has been caught within a downtrend channel as we continue to find lower lows and lower highs since the beginning of the week. However, if we look on the four hours time frame, we will notice that um, the bullish trend line that has been holding price action since um, mid May was finally broken earlier on in the week as we saw price breakdown of that trend line around here and do a retest of that area before we saw that, move, that 150 move, 140 pips move during the course of yesterday's trading session. So um, what I'm thinking right now at this point is that we might be looking forward to the retracement of that impulse leg to take advantage of any bearish potential going into the New York session. So what I'm going, if you allow me, I have a visual representation of that move, which I'm expecting to be like this. We have this move, then I'm looking forward to a retracement into the setting opportunity zone, which is my golden zone area. And how is that? My golden zone area is always between the 50 and the 78.6% retracement of the previous impulse leg. So what I want to be looking forward to is I want to be looking for a reversal pattern here on the lower time frame to take advantage of any bearish momentum going into the New York session. So if we scale down to the one hour time frame, we have a scenario that makes it more um, simpler to understand. So on the one hour time frame, we have the scenario where um, we have something like this and I'm looking for a key level to take advantage of that um, to get our actions going forward. So if we look left, we can see that this area has been a support level, support level, resistant, 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 and the support level, support level around here. We also have a support level here, support level here, and I'm of the opinion that we might be having a resistant level from this area, which also shares a confluence with the bearish trend line that has been guiding price action since the beginning of the week. Now, with this, with this being said, with this information in hand, then allow me to draw out a key level that we will be using as our guide going into the New York session. So if we bring out our line chart at this point and we, um, hold on a second, we, we are trying to identify a line around here, we will have something that looks more, um, hold on a second, we want to see right below here. So we'll have our key level right at 1.2550 area. So key level at um, 1.2550, sorry, 550 area. So I want to put this right at the top. So let's, let's have it at the top there. And then we have our key level. Let's give it gold. Okay, good. So I'm expecting something like this. So going into the New York session, I want to be seeing price rally below that key level. So um, I have a position that looks more like this. I'm expecting price to, so I already have another that which I think has been triggered at the moment, okay. So I have, I have a take profit target at 1.24200 where I'm expecting price to break below the 1.24750 which has been a demand in the past. So um, this is what I'm looking out for going into the New York session. I have two parameters that will guide our action going into the New York session. The first one is the bearish trend line we have identified here with the dotted red line at this point. And the other one is the key level here at 1.2550, which I think should guide our action going forward. So um, anywhere below the key level is most appropriate for us to join the decline to the downside. And anywhere right above the key level negates any setup regarding bearish momentum in this regard. So I would like to pause the video at this point. Please note that um, regular updates will be shared in the comment section of my TradingView account for reference purposes as time goes by. Thank you for watching and do have a wonderful day. Bye.